This video is sponsored by War Thunder. More on that later. Hello, and welcome to RuneScape, and welcome back to Rogue's Journey, or as we like to call it here, the Skyrim sneak build of RuneScape. Last episode, we broke the game, got 99 thieving, and stole a fortune with basically a single click. We journeyed into the sewers to prove ourselves as a ranger and a warrior. We massacred the intellectual elite so we could take their clothes and their silly little hats. And lastly, we descended into the Eorwith dungeon. Into the Eorwith dungeon? What the fuck kind of... Who wrote this? Into the Eorwith... <clears throat> and lastly, we descended into the Eorwith dungeon to begin our next chapter. This is Nynaeve, our hero, or, or villain, depending on how you look at it. Right now, we're training to face the corrupted Hunleth, but it's not going to be a straightforward journey, because as you'll recall, we're beating RuneScape with only 10 stats, the 7 combat stats, and then sneaking, stealing, and killing. Now, in order to become the sneak archer we've always dreamed of, we're going to need a powerful weapon. But, since I never sully my hands with the work of a Fletcher or a Smith, we don't have access to a rune crossbow, we can't string bows, and we will certainly not be making any bolts or darts. The advantage of the Bofa is that it allows us to shoot magical crystal bullets or some shit, for which we need no fletching levels. And since the enhanced crystal weapon seed with which you create the Bofa is obtained in the Corrupted Gauntlet, our path is clear. Hello, and welcome back to this wet, stinky with dungeon. The first thing we're gonna need to do in order to head to the Corrupted Gauntlet is unlock Ruinous Prayers. If you don't know what that is, it's a prayer book that basically upgrades all the current prayers and will give us access to Annihilate and Vaporize. They increase your damage by some godforsaken amount, and the best part is we won't have to go to the Chambers of Zarek and get any prayer scrolls to unlock them. All we need is our tier 6 relic. Now, that's a good way down the tech tree, but good news is I've got a plan. So, we're gonna see if we can find any easy tasks to get enough points to unlock our tier 5 relic, Treasure Seeker. Because what could be more roguish than killing monsters and stacking treasure maps in our inventory? It's also gonna give us access to a lot of tasks that will help us get to tier 6, and who knows, we might even get some badass dragon hide armor or a magic short bow that we otherwise wouldn't have access to. And so I set off around the world of Gilinor, doing arbitrary chores like jumping over some leaves or riding on a little boat. These are the types of things that make you a hero in RuneScape. Okay, I've done the fire sale thing where you <laughs> get a bunch of free chaos runes and then you sell those chaos runes for a bunch of free tackle. I hope 535,000 tackle is enough. We're gonna go over here, trade this guy, buy one uncut onyx, oh baby, 200 points. And then we might as well trade this guy, buy one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, we're out of money. Okay, I'm gonna go get a little more tackle and we're gonna buy all of the Onyx stuff because apparently equipping those is a whole bunch of other free points. We don't have the attack or defense levels for that yet, but if they're in my bank, I will remember to do it. Pretty sure we can just strap this bad boy on. Is that? Yeah, 80 points. Okay, only 800 until the next relic. And killing a Tsar guy, look at that, 10 points. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Okay, quick travel barge. And there's a task, going to Fossil Island and pet the dog. Another 10 points. And bank, Atletia, another 10 points. And so, as our journey to unlock Treasure Seeker continued, I was also on another journey. And that was to blow the shit up out of tanks and planes, baby. I told you, I told you it was sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made and is available now for free on PC and consoles. You can take control of over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, Helicopters and ships of the ten major nations, including the Fire Nation. No, was that? Okay, not the Fire Nation. Apparently that IP belongs to Nickelodeon. But all the real 10 major nations. The vehicles are detailed and realistic, and the graphics and sound effects make it feel like you're actually at the helm. The combat is intense and immersive, unlike, <laughs> unlike some other games that we might know about. War Thunder features a comprehensive customization system with countless camouflages, historical markings, and decorations for all kinds of vehicles. If your vehicle or an enemy vehicle is destroyed, War Thunder shows you exactly what happens with their x-ray view. You'll see where the shell penetrated, what components were affected, and what ultimately led to the destruction of the vehicle. I wish they did that at RuneScape. We'd be like, oh, ah, an armadillo god sword was flung directly into my head for 70 damage. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Join a worldwide community of over 70 million players in epic PvP battles today and delve into the breathtaking experience that is War Thunder. With an unmatched wealth of high quality content, there's simply no game better suited for fans of military history. So play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Use my link in the pinned comment or video description to sign up. New players and those who haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack on PC or consoles. That includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and seven 
days of a premium account. Available for a limited time, so don't miss it. And killing this dragon should be three tasks, I think. And oh, defeat an adult chromatic dragon, kill a black dragon in Tyronwyn. We get some Addy Javelins. And we can bury the dragon bones for another task. And we get an easy combat task. Oh shit. Oh, oh okay, all right. <clears throat> that could have been bad. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to kill another one of these just for fun. I wonder what the drops are from these guys. Okay, so apparently we can get like Addy darts and Addy javelins. Those might be useful. Uh, the dragon javelin heads, unfortunately, we can't craft. And I guess there's dragon bones. So I guess if I ever need any of that shit, we can get it here. Probably not going to be super useful, but hey, kind of cool. And more Addy javelins. We take those. 430 points until the next relic and 30 tasks until the next area which i'm still not 100 percent on whether that's going to be karend the desert or fremenic so i guess i've still got some time to think about that oh baby oh my god what an incredible looking demon derek is screwed oh my god we one shot him aber gabindo the most magical sounding word in the world <laughs> Gabindo. Holy shit. These would be good names for like a group Iron Man team. Anyways. What an animation. Holy shit. And there's Demon Slayer for 40 points. Holy shit. That's not bad at all. Okay. On to the next thing. What are those? Kill them. What is this? What are those? Ugh. I hate it here. I want to leave. All right. We killed the thing and it turned into a human. And now I'm leaving. Oh, you're here again. And that's the quest completed. <laughs> Okay, well, there's some points. Hello, it's me. Fake. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fake Nine Rain doing agility arena in the fake game mode. We've got 10 tickets here within my hands. Don't fall. Uh, getting a ticket was a task. But also, if we come over here and we trade this fucking pirate person, we get one Snapdragon. Holy shit. That is so bad. Okay, well, there you go. There's another task. We got a Snapdragon. <laughs> okay, I, I I must say, maybe the worst thing about playing the account this way is watching these fucking crystal implings. Just look at that smug little bastard. Watching them just float on by. Anyways, here we are at the market in Bredinas, where I will be completing the final action. Here, here it is. We dodge the guard over here, and boom, steal from a gem stall. You gain enough points to unlock your tier 5 relic. Ow, I've been stabbed. That would fucking hurt, wouldn't it, huh? Okay, look, relics. We are going to do- Look, uh, Infernal Gathering obviously does nothing for us. Bloodthirsty. I actually don't think it's that valuable. Not as good as one might think. But Treasure Seeker, it's combat focused. We will be locked out of a good amount of clue scroll steps because of the no skilling thing. But select, confirm. Oh. Now, when we're doing something like this blood veil grind, we have a 1 in 15 chance of getting a clue scroll. So we're going to get like 10 hard clues from just the one slayer task, probably. Oh my god. They're going to be way easier to complete. And the way that we're going to get probably most of our ranging gear before crystal armor and abofa is from clue scrolls. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to do this slayer task. We're going to get all of our clue scrolls. We're going to bang through some of these. We'll hopefully get a whole bunch of points and tasks done. And look, we're only 19 tasks away until we unlock the next area. Hello, everybody. It's me, 2D9 Rain. Do you want to see me do dumb shit in Varlamore? Do you want to be there when I finally get the enhanced crystal weapon seed? How about all the content that doesn't quite make it into Iron Man? Well, look no further. I'm live every week over at kick.com forward slash 9 Rain. And if live streams aren't your thing, you can find all that shit over on the 9 Rain VODs channel or in short little bits over on the 9 Rain Clips channel. Links for all of those are in the description as well as on my homepage. I've also got a second channel for non RuneScape stuff and a League of Legends channel in the works if you're into that sort of thing. Links for all those are in the description as well as on my YouTube homepage. So check those out if that's your cup of tea or if you just want to support my work. All right, enough from me. Back to Rogue's Journey. After a couple hours of grinding out tasks, we'd finally gotten enough task points to unlock Treasure Seeker. So we gathered all the clue scroll boxes that we currently had and set out to see if we could complete them. Being that I was a rogue and was restricted from doing any of the clue steps that required skills, I was banking on the fact that Treasure Seeker reduced the number of steps in order to complete a clue. And so hopefully we had a chance. I have collected collected a decent amount of stuff for clues but we're gonna be keeping all these bad boys right here i don't know if i need a bronze spear but i'm gonna put it in there anyways i've only had to drop a couple beginner clues and i think a couple easy i don't remember but we've dropped a couple clues most of them have been completed i'm gonna go to these hard ones wish me luck okay this motherfucking seratamin wizard is shitting on me i'm not sure that we're going to defeat him dear god please can he hit a 33 i think he can hit 
some pretty nasty shit. All right. There we go. Ah, uh, and the last, the same clue. Okay, check steps. Three steps. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this hard clue scroll, and then the next time that we're doing a hard clue, we'll just be able to drop this on the ground and pick up where we left off with one final step. I guess we'll open up these other caskets while I slowly die of poison. Behold, my brothers and sisters, the first casket openings on the account. We shall go with the beginner first. Boom. <laughs> Nice. And useless. And bad. And bad. It's, holy shit. These are so bad. Okay, let's keep going. <gasps> a unique! A Ceratum and Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. Anything else? No, no, no. And nope. Okay. Okay, let's see. Use Ornament Kit. Oh, dude, it's sick looking. Very cool. I think if I'm being honest, the Zamorak one's the coolest, but that's an 80 point task. I'm happy about that. Okay, on to the easy. And... Nothing. Uh, ooh, flare trousers. A black helm, an honorable blessing, and a black helm G. And some purple sweets. Okay, we got a bunch of uniques. Look at these bad boys. Holy shit, I look like Zoe Pancakes. Oh, baby. Um, well, we can do a cool dance now, at least. We'll put on the black helm. All right, that looks pretty bad. What about the black helm G? All right, that looks bad. The honorable blessing will come in handy for something where we need a prayer bonus, I'm sure. And finally, my brothers and sisters, the hard caskets, please, dude. Okay, these might be decent. Boom. <gasps> Gothic bracers and a pith helm. Okay, the bracers are awesome. That's a best in slot. That's immediately a best in slot. Oh, yes. Let's keep going. Boom. Oh, okay, well, it's a unique and some lumberyard teleports. That's going to be nice for doing more clues. And the last one. Enchanted robes. Best in slot. A peaceful blessing and ancient plate legs. We'll, we'll take it. And oh, wait, another hard casket. Yes! Dude, the scroll book. That's actually really cool. And there's another dude. Okay, I'm like printing. Okay, um, we are accidentally printing hard casket. And the final, final one, Eeyore with camp teleport. Absolutely, we take those. Yes, because there's a hard clue step that I have to go to the Eeyore, Eeyore with camp. Oh, wait, we got it. Guys, we got the magic short bow. I didn't even notice. Wait, no, this is sick. Okay, wow, huh. Easy game, easy game. I didn't even notice we got it. I'm so dumb. Okay, well, this was a massive situation. Success. We got the Guthix bracers. We got our magic short bow. And we got a scroll book. Goodbye, you short bow. Relationship over. Holy shit. Okay, the clue relic was totally worth it. Check. We've got 125 blood vells left in the task. I'm about to die from poison, so I will see you when we have hopefully a whole bunch more hard clues. We'd gotten pretty lucky by getting the magic short bow and the Guthix bracers because I wouldn't be fletching or crafting anything on this account. Hard clues were going to be the only way that I got access to a lot of the ranged items that I would be using between my current setup and the event crystal armor. So I devised a plan. We were going to do Slayer and stack up as many hard clues as I could in hopes of getting best in slot range gear along the way. That would help us as we trained for the Corrupted Gauntlet and it would help us complete a lot of the tasks that we would need to unlock our tier 6 relic. And so we returned once more to the Eeyore with Dungeon. This place was becoming a sort of home for me now. I felt comfortable and safe among the icky, nasty tongue things. Disgusting though they were, I knew that they were the key to my destiny. It's way too blocky. <laughs> He's like, yes, now everybody at RuneScape <laughs> will know that I am good at the game and will think that I am cool. <laughs> Shows up at RuneFest. Hello, everybody. It is me, a new monkey of the high-level community. I can put it on my Tinder profile, and they will know that I'm good at RuneScape. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to make it my profile picture. <laughs> I'll say something witty, too, like the helmet stays on during sex. That'll get him. <laughs> That's something he would do. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you know I completed the Awakened Leviathan Challenge on the first day of release? <laughs> Wait, no way. I, I was not even paying attention. Guys, we got a ruby amulet? I can enchant that. Wait, 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 wait. That's best in slot strength for like a long time. Doing the whole combat only thing, I, I didn't even consider. What? Why do Bloodvelds drop a ruby amulet? Okay, no complaints here. I must go quickly to the rune shop where hopefully they have cosmic runes. Guys, we got 22 Bloodvelds left. Holy shit, this task is taking forever. 80 ranged, 70 defense. Damn, look at that. Look at this account. It's pretty fucking cool, huh? <laughs> Is that enough? Is that enough cosmic? Did we do it? Enchant? Boom, baby. Amulet of strength. Look at me. That's pretty sick. Okay, well, obviously not that useful for range, but really useful for melee. Oh, and I'm a gamer, so...
and we're back to the Bloodville grind. Life is good. So I spent the next couple of days traveling through the lands of Gilinor, killing Turoths and Kurasks and Bloodvelds. And as I killed these monsters, we came up with a plan. I armed myself with the Slayer Staff and with the broad arrows that I could buy at the Slayer Equipment Shop. We researched all of the monsters that could give us hard clues and began what would be one of the longest grinds on the account yet. In a way, it felt like my roguish days of stealing and lying were behind me. Nynaeve was becoming a hardened warrior and I had the staff to prove it. Our goal of unlocking the tier 6 relic and of obtaining ruinous prayers which we would use to defeat the corrupted Hunliff was still far off and there was a lot to do but every kill was a step forward on the journey. Oh my god my second one we get a scroll box. Okay I've, I've said it before I'll say it a thousand more times. Karas task best task. Guys look we've killed nine Karasks and we have three hard clue scroll boxes. I fucking love Karasks. Wait is something broken? I've killed 18 and I now have five scroll boxes. I don't, no complaints here. God bless the noble Karask. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. If Karasks aren't the best fucking task in the game, I don't know what is. What am I looking at? Are all the king Kar <laughs> Look at his fucking face, dudes. Look at that goblin, green goblin looking ass. Okay, let's see what the loot is. Jesus Christ, he's ugly. Come on. Come on, show me, show me the money. A crystal, a crystal shard. All right, well, I still stand by it. Best task. Oh, baby, there it is. It's beautiful. I don't even think I can wield it. No, it needs 55 slayer and 65 attack. Holy shit, it's a 65 attack tier weapon? Okay, well, hopefully by the time the next Karas task comes around, we can maybe just kill them with the leaf bladed battle axe. Yes, okay, one of the two uniques. And behold, the Karas task blesses us once again with this giant freak <laughs> with a two human face. <laughs> Hopefully, we shall get a cool item from him. That would be nice. Ah, yes, the clue scroll box. Thank you, King Karask. You have been too kind. Hello, everybody. I am on an island. Oh my god, the endless void. Um, I'm on an island here in Karamya. We have nine hard caskets, four clue scrolls left to do. Why have I gone in this hole? I should go in another, which is something some of you have probably told yourself before. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm actually enjoying hard clues. There's not a lot of skilling requirements for hard clues. I only have to drop two that I know of. I will see you guys when we have all the caskets. All right, my dudes, behold, 11 reward caskets, which means we're probably going to get a lot more than 11 openings. So here we go. <sighs> I need black dragon hide so bad or god dehyde please okay an addy full helm an armadil full helm we take those sarah page <gasps> amulet of glory <coughs> it's so good oh my god that's my best slot for everything forever that's so sick yes <gasps> i gotta put this stuff in the bank guys we got black dehyde chaps yes i look incredible this is great holy shit yes okay what an upgrade look at the defensive stat difference holy shit and then the ranged accuracy is plus nine not bad okay let's keep going oh rune sh okay two more uniques and a bunch of purple sweets a green dragon mask zimrak chaps a sarah sarah coif oh actually oh my god and then dig site and morton teleport this is the clue of the gods. I'm gonna look like an absolute buffoon for the rest of the series <laughs> because I have to wear this stupid Saracoy. But look at the difference. The prayer bonus, the accuracy, the defensive bonus. Okay, I'm gonna wear the crown for now, but when it comes time to do some actual good content, like when we need to kill Jad, we're, we're taking the Saracoy. Okay, we go again. Ancient blessing and a black dead body, yes. Oh my God. Okay, look at, oh, we look like a baddie. Holy shit. And our boots even match the Zemrak chaps. Okay, the upgrades have been enormous. Doing hard clues was such a good idea. Let's continue. Uh, a master scroll box. Armadillo chaps. God dehyde boots. Holy shit. The Bandos dehyde boots look fucking horrendous, but they will be good for fight caves and other bosses. And the scroll box master. There's no way in hell that we can do this. The requirements will be too high. That is for damn sure. And behold, everybody, look, new area available. And look at all these points. What? Okay, well, we'll make that decision in a bit. Let's keep opening. Another master. More purple sweets. Okay, the last one. A Ceratomin full helm. Life is good. Okay, just to see how far off I am from doing a master clue, we're gonna check this one. Ah, yes. We had to drop one master clue scroll because we could not get inside the crop circle because we need a hunter level of 17. And wouldn't you know it, the next clue that we get is the same exact clue. So we're gonna hold on to this because... We 
we completed the first two master clue steps, so those still count. And eventually, I think we'll just complete a master clue and it's not gonna be that bad. So that'll be cool. It is now time for me to choose my destiny. The next area we will unlock in the leagues. I have decided upon the continent of Great Karend. Not because it has the chambers of Zarek, nor even really the Konar Slayer dungeon. There is a secret temple that lies beneath the island. And in this temple, there is a chest. And within that chest is a whole bunch of potions and fish and other things we can put in our mouth. We are headed to the Forthos dungeon. Thank God somebody put all the supplies necessary to be an adventurer within one chest. And all we have to do is kill and steal. So we'll be farming some grubby keys and looting the grubby chest and getting as many supplies as possible. Because you might have heard me say it earlier. We are going to go to the volcano in Karamja and face Jad. This giant fiery beast will be a decent challenge for us. But even more importantly than that, it's going to get us lots of points so we can unlock our tier 6 relic, get ruinous prayers, and then head to the corrupted gauntlet. And so we unlocked the continent of Great Karend, and what better way to kick off our new journey? By heading to the catacombs and killing Bloodvelds. Ah uh, yes, our longtime friend, the big pink fleshy guy. It may look a little different here in the caverns of Karend, but mind you, the Bloodvelds here are all just the same, and we shall be killing them for hard clues and a whole bunch of experience. The next day we journeyed to a far off land that we had never been to before. We went to the island of... What is the fuck is this island? We went to the Isle of Souls. Now here on the island, there is a mini game called Soul Wars. And I won't bore you with the details because between you and me, I fucking hate it. It's so boring and dumb and everything sucks. But sometimes life is like that when you're a shitty little rogue. So we went to the arena, joined up with our brothers in arms and fought for the glory of these random fucking god things that I'm not really sure what they do or why and they don't really fight much but anyways the reason that we're here is because when you earn points at soul wars you can spend those points to get a whole bunch of prayer experience and wouldn't you know it we were gonna need that for ruinous prayers 84 prayer would give us access to annihilate and 86 would give us access to vaporize now there were some weaker prayers we could get along the way but that was the long-term goal now after a few days and one 800,000 experience drop later we had 78 prayer okay Okay, that's not enough for Annihilate and Vaporize, but that still gives us access to Ancient Sight and Ancient Will, as well as the Overhead Prayers, and that should be enough to defeat Jad. So, Soul Wars, we might be back, but my god, am I ready to take a break. We've come a long way since we started our journey here. We have become quite the formidable warrior. We literally couldn't be a better thief. We've journeyed to new lands. We dug up treasure chests all over Gilinor, and luckily, we'd obtained some of the best range gear we could have hoped for. Now we must go defeat Jad. And in order to do that, we need food and potions. And as I mentioned earlier, that means we're headed to the Forthos dungeon, where the real rogue's journey begins. We are basically going to be killing undead priests, I think, which is probably sacrilegious. We will be killing spiders, which is less sacrilegious, I hope. And we will be stealing from an ancient civilization whose history and origin I care nothing for. All in the name of being rich and badass. We started as a humble thief, and we may yet die as a humble thief, but my journey to defeat the Corrupted Gauntlet and get the Bofa will not end today. Again, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to play it for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox now by using my link in the pinned comment or video description. New and returning players that haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack across all platforms, including multiple premium vehicles and other goodies. It's available for a limited time, so go check it out. Understand. The quest helper not fucking pointing me in the right direction. Quest help her? No. Quest only hurt her. <laughs> <laughs>